from Texas seek recognition. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I recently stood with my colleagues of the Congressional Black Caucus to call for a national emergency summit on urban violence. And in light of the verdict in Florida, the Trayvon, verdict, uh, Trayvon Martin verdict, I wanted to talk about uh, violence that has recently happened in my uh, district and uh, why we need to do something about mental illness. Uh, we had an incident where a man killed his pregnant girlfriend. Uh, the mother and her 10-year-old brother and then went into a neighboring police station and asked for the police to shoot him. We had another incident, a young Somalian boy, only five years old. The people that lived in the apartment complex loved to see this little boy ride his bicycle around. And a 13-year-old got into a disagreement with them and beat him in the head until he died. And he left him in a backyard. And then we had another recent drive-by shooting in the district where the assailant said he shot the wrong guy, and the wrong guy was an innocent 12-year-old boy. We need to do something about mental illness and about violence that is gripping this country. It is clear that there are many people who, due to mental illness, do not have the ability to calmly and rationally resolve their differences with others. Instead, they turn to violence. Let's do something about the rising violence in our urban communities. I yield back. Time has